right, so part two, lower self conversations, relationships. So when it comes to relationships, you got to really know who you are and you have to be very selective about who you letting in your life. Because right now, these days and currently, just the yokes just ain't yoking. OK, and I say that because a lot of people are getting together and they're not matched. So we going shopping for love on an empty stomach. And that's not good because by the time you get home, those eggs are cracked and you realize you and that person really don't have anything in common other than having sex and making money, because that's what a lot of couples are focusing on these days, getting money and how good their sex is and, you know, traveling. But a lot of people are not exploring each other's mind and they're not exploring each other's spirit. And this is why they get blindsided later. And so as you navigate through life, you got to already know where you're going and what you're doing and what you want to be when you grow up so that you can align naturally with people who go in the same way you're going and doing the same things you're doing. But you got to stop stopping on the side of the road for people who's hitchhiking in love. And you got to make sure that you're not the person that's hitchhiking in love and just getting in the car with anybody and just riding wherever, okay? And a lot of us want to say that that's spontaneous and all of that, and it may very well work out. And in some cases, that may very well be true. However, a lot of situations and where a lot of these um toxic connections and these soul ties and all of this is happening because people are getting together in lower self and you feed in the flesh. Okay. And you feed in the flesh and you moving in situations because of a basic need. And so supply and demand. Okay. You have to think everything is sex. Everything is business and everything is spiritual and supply and demand when it comes to the body. And some people just out of desperation or because they deserve some dick right now or they think they deserve some pussy right now or whatever in their life. But do you deserve everything that's coming along with that person? A lot of people try to build off of their sexual experience with somebody like the sex was good. So now we about to just see where this go. But now you figure out you don't like their parents. You don't like the way they were raised. You don't like the way they think. You don't like the way they eat. You don't, y'all don't even eat the same things. Y'all might not even believe in the same things. And that goes back to there's this uh, fear of loss and missing out on something. And also there's this fear of getting to know yourself. And so a lot of people want to be in relationships all the time. A lot of people have to be in relationships all the time. Also, a lot of people, if you don't know yourself, you're also going to just not negotiate well. And like I say, everything is business. Everything is sex. Everything is spiritual. And if you don't have a strong sense of self, you are going to over accommodate and go into a situation and to a contract with somebody and they're going to get more of you than what you're getting of them. And they're not going to reciprocate. OK. And like I say before, fair exchange is no robbery. A lot of us go into situations completely being robbed of our time, our money and our energy. The yoke got a yoke. OK. Being equally yoked just knows that our purpose aligns us. Your partner and your purpose are connected, okay? They enhance you, so they shouldn't be too far outside of yourself. And so what you do is enhanced by who you're with, okay? And a lot of us are doing something that means a lot to us and not to the person that you're with. Or we're doing something and we're meeting people who have nothing to do with what we're doing. And so this is why the frustration is here. This is why the war is here. And then you realize, like I said, that the yoke wasn't yoking because you don't crack the egg open and some people ain't even got nothing in there. OK, some people weren't developed. Some people weren't raised. Some people don't have a degree in family. They don't know what it is to stick to their word and have somebody's back and to have, you know, morals and to stick within their principles and what duty and obligation looks like. Some people never had to have those things. And that's why a lot of marriages are not working out because some people are coming from broken homes and some people are coming from very much a very strong home. OK, and so this is why a lot of people back in the day and maybe even now, this is where arranged marriages come from because our children are our products. OK, and a lot of people are put a lot of work into their product because everything, once again, is business. OK, and so a lot of people are putting into their product and they don't want to do business with somebody who is not putting in as much work and effort in their product as them. 
They don't want their child to mate with your child because you're not putting in the work with your child. Okay. And that goes back to not being equally, equally yoked mind, body, and spirit with somebody. You have to make sure that you are seeing eye to eye before you see eye to eye down below. Okay. And a lot of us can understand each other sexually and not understanding each other in so many other ways. So this is why a lot of men feel unprotected in their relationship because you didn't know who you was with. A lot of women don't feel physically protected in their relationship because you didn't know who you was with. Or sometimes, once again, you don't know yourself. It's okay to be a man that's in tune with his femininity, okay, and his feminine energy. There's okay for a woman to understand her masculine energy. So now you know who you need to be with. Now you know why you're attracted to a certain type. And that goes back to even understand that sometimes you really don't even have a type. You just know what you like and what you're attracted to. But if you understand your purpose, that falls to the floor completely. But when you don't have a purpose, this is why you're sitting here going back to what you want and what you think you need, but you never match up with somebody. So understand yourself and you know what to pick from on the menu of life. OK. And when it comes to your lover. All right. You know what's for you. All right. And what you need. No different from when you're ordering your food. You know what you need. and You know what you want. You know what, you know, tastes good. But you also know what's going to work best for your body and for your lifestyle. And so this is all it is. You are managing your time, your money and your energy through what you do, but also the people you connect to. The yoke got to be yoking, and a lot of situations is not. And a lot of people have been in marriages for years even, and the yoke was never yoked. You know, it was never happening. It was never taking place. And this is why they also bred children who understood that they came out of frustration, that they came out of desperation, that they came out of need and not of want and not of desire, that their parents didn't have a plan for them. And this goes back to why some people's energy is so different. Make sure that your children have a degree in family. They know what love looks like. OK, they're coming from a place of love, because if you're flunking in family and you get with somebody who has straight A's when it comes to family and they know what it is to cultivate, they know what it is to be nurtured and to nurture. They know what it is to forgive and to love and to talk things out. And you with a stray animal. OK, who's been out in these streets and who hasn't been loved right now, you decrease your value. So, yes, you do have to be equally yoked. Yes, you do have to go shopping and already be on a satisfied stomach and already be full so that you can be selective about what you're putting in your basket. Because a lot of us, by the time we check out, OK, and we say we're in a relationship and you pay for everything. Yeah, you really going to pay the cost because you didn't pay attention. All right. You were starving and you were just throwing things in there. So I definitely would say <laughs> make sure that you are aligned with your job, with your partner, with somebody you love, even if it is casual sex, which, you know, no judgment on that. But even if it is that you still want to be aligned with the same principles, you guys are going the same way. If a child was to come out of that, that's all I'm saying, you know, do the things you're going to do, but just make sure that what you look like on paper and what you look like inside is matching what somebody else is doing and their actions and everything is aligning as well. People are actors. People put on the front. People will show you something, you know, and then their mask will come off later. And that's why a lot of us will get robbed. OK, people coming into your life and they're going to take something. So you have to already have your security on. You already have to have, you know, a lot to your spirit before you let somebody in. Only let people in that not first. People who what? Correspond with your boundaries. All right. All is well. Peace and love, you guys.